Hello guys, this is Little Tools. Today I'm going to do another method of how to apply Ashcode like Pro uh, with a sanding method. Uh, in previous video, I showed you guys how to apply the edge coats, and I showed you my choice of edge coats. It's a uh, Bernese edge paint from Rocky Mountain Leather Supply. Um, I, here's the address. Um, I really like this one because they're easy to apply, uh, they dry fast, and uh, the, the end result is uh, much, much better. Okay, so. Uh, in previous video, I showed you guys uh, using Tokonol uh, how to apply the edge coat. Uh, here's the samples that I did in the video. Uh, it shows very um, smooth edge finish as you can see. But uh, some of the comments uh, were left uh, worried that uh, using Tokonol before applying the edge coat will weaken the bond between the edge coat and leather because it uh, work as like a, like a barrier. So, like most of the, most of the things, you know, you want a rough surface finish. I mean, soft area, so that uh, bonding can take much much better. You know, they have to something to grab on. So, in this video, I'm going to show you different methods. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to apply the edge coat without tokenol, using tokenol, and uh, just using. Uh, as the edge paint and the sand papers. Uh, with the sanding method, uh, here's the method that you can use. Uh, there are other methods, uh, so I'm going to do, make videos in the future. So this is the sanding method. So you do the edge and then you do the sanding, 400 and 600, and then you apply, there's no token all, and then you apply one edge coat, uh, and then you do the sanding, okay, 406 with a 400 or 600 grit sandpaper. Then you apply the second coat, and then uh, with the third sanding, uh, you sand it more fine, okay? And then you apply the edge coats at, at the last, okay? This is the sanding method. Uh, you can you can change the very uh, variations. You can go even finer, uh, like a 1000 grit here and 2000 grit here. Uh, it just depends on what your likings, okay? So let's start. Uh, here's the sample letter. Um, in the previous video, uh, I used this like one, just uh, one layer. But uh, one of the subscribers named uh, Toby uh, in from Singapore, uh, he suggested that uh, I should be using like a multi-layer of leather to to see if this kind of batch coats uh, are how effectively covers the layers. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edge this letter first with my favorite edger from edger number three uh, this is really good size for doing the edge work like a rounding or doing the edge work with for the edge coats okay uh, again this is my favorite so you may think different you, you might go smaller or larger so it's your choice okay so I'm going to edge the size I mean the edge to make it like a round shape okay. this okay. and then I go for 400 grit it's just the sandpaper Okay, wet or dry doesn't matter. So lightly sand. You can smooth out the edge work, and then make a like a rough surface finish on the leather. Okay, so it creates uh, more of a um, surface that the uh, edge coats can hold on to. Okay. In previous video, I applied the Bernese first, and then the Venetia and the Giardini. So I'm going to apply the um, Giardini. Uh, this is uh, Italian brand uh, Giardini Max Edge Pro Matte Edge Paint Color Z18, Z1086. Uh, kit from freezing. 
And, uh, let's see. I've shaken the bottle really well before the video, so shake the bottle well before the video. Okay. okay now I'm going to I'm going to show you guys how, what it's like uh, in in the first first coat of uh, edge coats. Okay. Right, so here we go. Uh, it feels like um, they're more thick, thicker than the other edge paints. It's it feels like a more rubberized feel to it. Okay. It's really hard to do this in, <laughs> while looking in the uh, camera, but. Uh, I'll do my best. Okay. Okay. Uh, by the way, this is a uh, case blade punch edge coat applicator. Uh, you can buy this uh, either case blade punch or the Rocky Mountain Leather Supply. Okay. All right, even it out. And uh, this is a clamp that I use for thicker stuff. Um, ones that I use for um, the wooden ones are for thin ones. Uh, this is a um, small wood wood clamp uh, from Bessé. Uh, it's a German company. Its uh, model name is uh, X2C, I believe. Oh, come on, focus. X2C. Uh, this is the smallest clamp they have. So they have like a mo moving jaw right here, so it does fit the shape. So you don't need to go like a two clamp on each side. Uh, you just uh, clamp it one side and then just rest against like a, a fold like this, okay? And I clean up the hatch coat applicator and then I close the bottle. Okay. I'm not going to apply any heat uh, in this method, so um, not everyone has the heat machine. So in this video, I'm going to show you just uh, how to the edge coat with ascending method. So it's a Fenice. Alright, so here we go. I think um, Fenice has consistency between Ghirardini and Vernice. Uh, they're runny but also kind of thick, rubberized feel to it. Alright, so even it out. Okay. So that. Here's my favorite Bernice edge coat. You will see why uh, this one is easy to apply and better because they're really runny and this absorbs into the water and uh, the leather really well. Okay, so I'll show you guys first. Right here. Alright, apply the first coat, then clamp it, and then you rest it. Okay. Mm 
Okay, so while we wait for the edge coat to dry, I'll just show you guys the end result. Uh, here it is. Okay. The middle one is a Ghirardini. Uh, the this one is Fenice. Uh, this is Berenice, the same color as the ones that I applied. It should be looks like this compared to that. So here's the result. Okay. Uh, like this Ghirardini brand is like a, has a, like a kind of sticky feels to it. If you know what I mean, uh, it, it attracts uh, dirt a little bit more than the other ones. Uh, Fenice is pretty nice too. Uh, uh, Bernice, uh, if I go for a second, uh, if you cannot really get the Bernice, uh, if you, it depends on where you are, not sure where you live, but uh, second best I think is uh, Fenice. Okay. Um, here's the um, the was it matte and polished look if you want to compare I think Giardini has a more of a polished look to it okay the other ones are just a matte look okay and uh, two of these guys Fenice and Bernice covers the layer and then the Giardini shows like a ones in the middle uh, kind of shows the layer but anyway, this is the result. Okay. Now, okay, these are all dried. Okay, you see, I want to show you guys. These I applied the edge coat first, um, Giardini first, okay, and then Bernice at the last. But they dry at the same time. Okay, they dry at the same time. So Bernice draws really fast. Okay. I see some of the uh, paints are not dried right here and some of the paint dry not right here but they are almost look identical like uh, they apply at the same time so Bernice draws much faster and uh, one thing to note um, guys when you sanding between the edge coat you have to allow many like, like time for the edge coat to dry completely uh, even though the edge coat dries uh, complete uh, as you as you go you, you might see the surface is dry okay now I need to sand uh, you had to wait a little bit more because the inside is not dried yet if you sand before the ash coat dries completely uh, it will uh, like it will be like peeled off and get gummy all and will, you will ruin the whole like edge work you have to do it again Okay, sometimes um, if it gets too like a uh, bumpy, I mean, you have to like stand a lot. Okay, so allow like good enough time for the edge coat to dry. Okay, so you have to be patient if you do want to do like a really nice edge edge work. Okay, so allow plenty of time to dry, and then you do the sanding. Okay, so I'm going to just show you guys to just the second sanding and not to the finals. Uh, because the method is basically the same, you know, changing the grids higher and then apply the next coats. Uh, so oh, I'll wait a little bit of time and uh, just uh, show you guys the next step. Okay. And uh, hey, here's the great example. Uh, while we wait, uh, I want to show you guys why Bernice is much much different than other edge coats. Okay. Here's why. Uh, you guys saw me. I do the edge work. Um, like a, I did the same effort. Uh, here's the edge, the first edge coat of uh, work here, and uh, you see the leather coming, th see through and here and here, and like here. I see it's here and here, like this ones, and uh, you see also this ones in here it's you can see the leather coming through uh, it's not evenly spread because but the Bernice ones they're just evenly spread okay they all dried evenly okay this is why I like Bernice it's easy to apply they dry fast and they just shows the end result very nice and the reason why it's uh, easy to apply and uh, 
they like absorb into the leather is that because they're thin uh, they're really runny like watery they're thin but Ghiardini is really like um, gummy uh, they're thick Veniche is the middle of Veronese and Ghiardini so they, they show the characteristic of both so I prepared Veronese for these reasons so if you want to get it then you know you can go to uh, Rocky Mountain Supply Veronese Edge Paints is uh, made in France so this is far the best uh, and the, this edge coat is also heatable um, in the future video I'm going to show you guys the heating method uh, and uh, this one is just the sanding method so I will show you guys how to do the heat treatment of the edge coats okay so let me uh, this is 400 grit sandpaper we just used so you, know, you don't want to go crazy on the uh, removing the edge coat okay you want to make a like a rough surface and then you even out the surface of the, of the edge coat and the leather okay as you go you need to make it all smooth okay no rough surface so the end result can be smooth as the samples that i should show you okay like this okay don't want to color to be mixed so you want a fresh spot okay so after sanding they should look like this okay so to show you apply the second coat Now it's done. Okay. I was uh, showing guys the focusing, sorry. So I was applying too much. Okay, sorry. They're kind of thick, thick um, consistency. So hard to for me. Uh, it's hard to blend, blend them like uh, all smooths out. Like uh, like a thinner edge coat, so 
your reading is not for me. Yeah. Let them dry, and then after drying them, you do the finer sanding with a higher grit. Okay, so as you go, you need to make the surface very um, like a smooth finish all the way. Okay, so you can do more of a coats, like a five fifths coats. Uh, it's uh, your choice, but uh, as you go, you need to make a smooth surface with the sandpapers. Okay, between the sanding. Alright, uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you like this video, please place thumbs up and uh, if you haven't subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe for more videos and uh, thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.